Ladies and gentlemen, once upon a time, in the animal kingdom, there was a school. And in that school, we had three students. First student, Eagle McFly, where we only teach him how to fly. And that's why he gets 10 over 10 on flying. He's an excellent student. Another student is Dolphin McSwim, where we only teach him how to swim. And that's why he gets 10 over 10 on swimming. Again, excellent student. Our third student is Cheetah McRun, where we only teach him how to run. And that's why he gets 10 over 10 on running. He's an excellent student. Now, as you can see, in that school, where everyone is taught according to their individual capacities and talents, everyone was reaching their full potential. At school, the teachers are teaching bright students, so they are satisfied. Even students are doing what they are best at, so they are enjoying it. At homes, the parents are happy because now their children are good at schools. And even at the workplace, now we are recruiting brilliant members, brilliant employees, that they will soon become leaders. So as you can see, homes are fine, school is fine, the workplace is fine, the whole economy of this animal kingdom was doing great. Okay. But now, but now we have a new school system where they say that all animals must learn all skills. Okay, now this is Eagle McFly. They want to teach him how to fly, how to swim, and how to run. But now, since he was busy learning the other skills, even in flying, he's not that good anymore. So he gets 10 over 10. Of course, he can never swim, he cannot run. So he gets 8 over 30, he failed. The same goes for Dolphin McSwim. They want to teach him how to fly and how to run. Come on. Okay, so he's average in swimming now, but he gets a total of 10 over 30, again he failed. Okay, the same goes for Mac Cheetah Macron. He can never fly, he can never swim, of course. So again he gets 9 over 30, he failed. So in that new school system, where everyone is taught uh, the same things, the same way, and at the same amount, no one is reaching their full potential anymore. This is Albert Einstein, one of the best scientists, or he was the man of the present century. He says everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Okay. Please, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this beautiful garden. Do you see any two identical tulips? Yeah, okay. Some might say yes, they are identical. But if you really look at the microscopic level, I asked my friend of mine, he's a professor in agriculture, I asked him, is it possible to have two identical plants? And this is what he says. Impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, it's impossible to have two identical plants. We are all of course, two identical plants cannot, cannot be, and of course, humans, we cannot find two identical humans. We all have unique faces, one unique thumbprint, one unique clicker, <laughs> and one unique face, and one unique set of intelligences, and of course, one unique life experience. 
Okay, this is the famous author, this is William Shakespeare. He had the high words or linguistic intelligence. But what about Albert Einstein? Math, physics, logic, intelligence. What about Sir Paul McCartney of the Beatles? Music intelligence. What about Lionel Messi? Any Real Madrid here? Okay, this guy has sports intelligence. What about Picasso? Picture intelligence. What about Gandhi? High emotional intelligence. What about the, the famous leader Martin Luther King? High social intelligence. This is the famous biologist of all time, Charles Darwin. He had high naturalistic intelligence. And of course, Saint Cherbel is high existential or spiritual intelligence. So as you can see, each and every one of you has his own set of intelligences. But this question is, how come we teach everyone the same way? This is Jack Bruce, one of the finest bassists in the world. This is what he clearly says. They teach everyone the same things regardless of what the individual's capacities are. Again, one story the Beatles members said, Paul McCartney used to say, according to his teacher, imagine Paul McCartney of the Beatles, his teacher used to tell him he's not that creative in music, he must look for another career in life. Okay, even George Harrison used to say, his teacher told him, quit music. I mean, have the Beatles? Yes, and not creative according to their teachers, of course. This is the professor of education from Harvard University, Howard Gardner. This is what he clearly says. Education, which treats everybody the same way, is the most unfair education. And this is Sir Ken Robinson. He's been at TED. He has the most viewed TED speech ever. 32,492 persons watch his famous speech, How Schools Kill Creativity. I totally agree with Mr. Ken Robinson. This is what he says. Our school and systems are still focused on a certain type of ability, and the result is many brilliant people are marginalized. Yes. Okay, this is the most intelligent person alive, according to New York Times. This is the professor, a linguistic, Noam Chomsky. He has more than 600 books on everything. This is what he says about school education. The whole educational system is a filter that just weed out people who are too independent and who think for themselves. And let's end this with the famous controversial philosopher, the Indian philosopher Osho. This is what he says. It is wrong to use a beautiful word like education for this rotten system of schools. Okay. Fine. We, we talk a lot about systems, education, students, schools. Is there any solution? Ladies and gentlemen, if you think you have the language intelligence. Go and become the, an excellent poet, journalist, writer, translator. You have the mass intelligence. Go and become the best engineer, scientist, accountant, computer scientist. You have the music intelligence. Become the best musician, singer, DJ, composer. And if you have the sports intelligence, become the greatest athlete, dancer, sports person, etc. You think you have the picture intelligence? Your sculpture, become another Tom Young, artist, architect, interior designer. You have the emotional intelligence, theorist, thinker, researcher, it's all for you. You have the social intelligence, become the greatest salesperson, politician or leader, we do need good leaders in Lebanon. If you have the naturalist intelligence, you love trees and rocks and, and water and the sea, etc. 
ecologist, biologist, farmer, landscaper. And if you have the high spiritual intelligence or existential intelligence, become a religious person, spiritual leader, and philosopher. Ladies and gentlemen, remember you have seeds of greatness inside you. Remember, you aren't made to be average. You can be whoever you want to be. Your best days are in your future and not in your past. Rise up and keep growing till you reach new heights. The best gift you can give to your loved ones, whether parents, friends or dear ones, is to be strong happy and successful now before you go i have eight messages for you one never think there is a shortcut to success know that it takes a lot of time and effort two never think successful people are born with special genes you too can become successful three never compare yourself to others Compare yourself of today to yourself of last month. Four, never, hide, never ever hide your talent or work. Let the whole world see what you've got. Five, don't waste time on mundane things. Focus on your tanks and talents and strengths. Six, don't try to be excellent in all fields. Focus on the areas you are most talented. Seven, don't live a boring, silent life. Go and make a lot of noise. And finally, please don't leave this place today while remaining the same person. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is how you can find your individual success. <laughs>